Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Got my glasses on. Today, something, there's plenty of these on the internet, but I thought I'd do my own because I was going to, I'm making these up for a trip tomorrow. So, uh, today we're just going to be making up a few wire traces. We're going to make some for lures and we're going to make some for fishing tiny little dead baits. So we're going to put a dongle on a wire trace. Thanks for watching as always. Let's crack on. Okay guys, so to make this uh, hook with a dongle for a little dead bait, got some size four codex Y gate barbless. We've got some 15 pound ghost, little lighter, act cut tag ends, a little bit of super glue. So first of all, we're going to just make a tiny little overhand loop. It's just a figure of eight knot. It doesn't. It doesn't even need to be too strong. This one, because all it's for is holding. So you got that. Just fold it round and back on for itself. Now, with all knots, it's good to wet them and tighten that down. So. There we have just our little loop. Cut off the tag end. Doesn't have to be too close because I find it actually holds the bait on as well. So I usually leave a couple of millimeters. Okay, once you've got your loop, and there's your little loop. Just gonna take about Ooh, we don't need too much. What's that? Six or seven, seven inches, maybe eight inches. I don't know. That seven. And I'm gonna thread it through this hole there. Pull this down. And this, I'm going to leave this quite long because this is going to be the length of my bait. So my little fish are probably three inches long. So yeah, I'll hold that on there, and I'm just going to turn this two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine turns around there. So you've got that there. Tighten them up. Push them to tighten them. And just put this back through the hole that it came. So we've got some fairly reasonable dongle on there for the little fish. This is tightened down. Hopefully you can see that. And there's our tag in there. Now that's called a knotless knot. And what we're gonna do with that is just pinch that off there. And what we're gonna do here being careful not to burn the rest of it is just burn this down a little bit to make a little ball on the end. And good. So you've got a little hook, but not this lot, and a little ball on the end. But what I tend to do here as well, I've just got a little bit of super glue. I'm just going to put a tiny little blob just to lock this in. Just around the end. There we go. Now let that to dry. Okie dokie. So, this is uh, a build of 
a trace. It's just how I do it. Um, there's loads of these on the internet, but this is what we're using. We're using 20 pounds soft strand. Um, using some crimps leaves. We got the crimps. We got some diamond swivels because the, the uh, crimps are made to go over the diamond swivel. Um, and we've got some trace snaps. These are for the lure, for making lure swivels. Um, okay, so let's crack on and make these traces. So, first thing first, we're going to need a swivel. First thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the crimp sleeve on. There we go. And that can slide down there. I'm going to need that in a minute. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to put a crimp on. We're going to put the crimp. crimp on the line then what we're going to do we're going to put the swivel on the line but we're going to put the swivel with the diamond it's actually going to go through the diamond bit not the round bit i'm going to put it through the diamond bit here so we've got the sleeve the crimp and the swivel on with the diamond end okay so next we're going to take the end of this slide the swivel down and we're going to put this back through the crimp and this takes some time it's more feel than looking at it make sure the end of your wire is cut off really cleanly There we go. It is a lot more of a feel thing. But there. We have the swivel. And what we're going to do now is slide. Crimp down. Soon you've got about that much, I suppose. Do like quite a lot of movement there. You could, you could bring it down a little bit more to about there. And then with a decent pair of pliers, we have a serrated edge on. What I'd like to do is crimp these on an angle. Give it a really good squeeze. Because this has got to take the pressure of maybe some big fish. Now if you look at this crimp, you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the film, but you can see that they're all diagonal across there. And that should be really good and really tough. I've left a little bit of a tag end on there because we've got the sleeve to go over it. So it gives it just in case there's a little bit of slippage. I slide your sleeve over there. There we go. There we go, that's one end done. People have varying different lengths that they like on their trays. I like to use about 18 inches because the pike can come up and bite further up. Okay, so now we're ready to put the hook on. So first things first. We don't need no crimp guard here, or crimp sleeve. So on the other end, same process pretty much. Crimp on. Then we're going to put our hook that we made earlier. Mm 
Here we go. So, put the hook on. And again, once we've got the hook on, there, on the wire trace, we just go back through. This bit's always the tough bit. There we go, we're through. There we go, we have the hook and the crimp done. Now it's just a case of, again, crimping this on an angle really tightly. <coughs> Hopefully you can see that crimp on the angle. Take off this tag end. We have our sleeve over that end to protect if the pipe comes up. And we have the crimped dongle on the barbless hook. There we have it, full trace, the covered end and a little dongle for putting a little tiny dead baits on. So that's how I do it, I know it's a bit, you know, it is what it is but it works. I hope this helps somebody out there, um, I only did it because I was making some traces up for a session in the next couple of days so you will see that one after this one um as always thank you very much for watching it's really appreciated and uh, fingers crossed we'll catch some fish in the next session and we'll see you in the next one see you later Ta -ra. well done Oh, look, the lure just came out. Look at that. That's why you don't stab them, mate. Wow. Fantastic. There we go. All right, the way to handle these, mate, if you want to do it carefully, see the gills here? Slide your finger down there. And you can put your hand in their mouth. Like that. Go. We got one. Well done. Finally, we got one. Okay. Hopefully, they'll come on the feed. Josh, do you want to put it back? All right. Lovely golden colour on it. Look, really nice. All right, wait till he settles down. Okay, I'll teach you how to hold it. Right, put your hand finger. That's it, under the gill here. And slide it down. You feel it? You got it? Yeah? Then with the back end, hold that. Be careful not to fall in. Take a picture of that, don't Yeah, boy. Oh, why isn't it taking a photo? Looks lovely in the sunlight. Hold it up, Josh. Alright, yeah. no, get him back then. Alright, be careful you don't fall in. Put his tail in and then flick him away. There he goes. There Fantastic. You go. You're actually fishing here.